In today's video, I will show you 19 essential steps you need to optimize your Windows handhelds. These steps will help you boost performance, increase battery life, and improve thermals. Now, I'm using the F1 Pro OLED for this guide. However, you can use the ROG LIX, the Legion Go, and any other Windows handhelds, such as the Ioneo and MSI devices. For step number one, you should turn CPU boost off. So I'm just going to press the overlay button and make sure turbo is off. This can drain extra power. So turning it off can increase battery life, improve thermals and even increase performance. For step number two, click on search in Windows at the bottom and type core isolation. And you should see core isolation. So just click on that. and in this window you will see memory integrity this is not necessary on a gaming handheld so it's best to turn this off as it can impact performance so best to turn this off for step number three just click on the search at the bottom and type futures click on where it says turn windows futures on or off and then in the screen where it says virtual machine platform make sure it's not ticked as it can impact performance for step number four just click on search and type updates and click on where it says check for updates basically you just want to make sure that everything is up to date for step number five, you want to make sure everything is up to date in the Windows Store. So just type in Store in the search, click on Microsoft Store, and on the bottom left where it says Downloads, click on this, and then at the top right, click on Check for Updates, and then click on Update All. This will update everything. For step number six, just open the stock software that comes with your device. So in this case, I've opened One X console. And as you can see, if I click on settings, I have a button which checks for updates. And as you can see, I have an update. So I'm just going to install this update. now the software is up to date i also have another section where it says update center and basically in here it's going to check for all the latest drivers so just make sure everything is up to date within the software for step number seven just type amd software in the search bar click on amd software and then in here make sure everything is up to date you can also click on manage updates this will open up a window and if you have updates available you can update it through here so you can see the dates and the version make sure everything is up to date you can also go um, to settings on the top right and in here you can see a lot of information regarding your device and also you can update the software through here step 8 is similar to step 7 so just open AMD Adrenaline or AMD software and go to where it says manage updates this will open up the same window as in the previous step and you want to make sure that the chipset drivers are up to date for step number nine just type display in the search bar click on display settings and where it says brightness click on the arrow and it says change brightness based on content you want to make sure this is off as by default this is on battery only 
and wait basically that will reduce the colors when it's on battery and, and you don't want the colors to be reduced so just click on off as this will give you the full colors and the best image step 10 is an upscaling technique called ris so type amd software and click on the adrenaline edition and in here go to gaming and then click on graphics scroll down to radeon image sharpening and basically make sure this is on this is basically an upscaling technique that makes your 720p games look like 1080p so highly recommended step 11 for debloating windows just type bloaty nosy in google search and it should be the first github page so click on the page and in here you want to scroll down to where it says releases and just click on the latest release which is 1.0.20 at the moment and then click on under assets bloaty nosy dot zip unzip the file and click on bloaty nosy and then in this screen you want to go to where it says computer so under experience click on computer and then click on ok and basically you will be presented with a lot of different software on the left hand side which you can remove so all of the software that you don't need you can remove it and then this will deep load your windows handheld for step number 12 make sure very bright is off as it can reduce image quality so open the amd software and under display as you can see very bright in this handheld i don't have the option as it is already off but in some handhelds you can turn this off so make sure it is off for step number 13 type startup apps in the search bar and click on startup apps and basically in the screen you want to turn off any software you do not wish to be loaded when you start your device as it can slow down your device so as you can see copilot i have turned off ea i have turned off and a lot of other unnecessary apps that i do not want to run when i start my device as this can increase the startup time so I've turned everything I don't need off and this basically increases performance and startup. For step number 14, go to Google and type GPD Motion Assistant. I click on search and where it says gpd.hk, click on this link and then scroll down to where it says gpd win mini click on download scroll down to where it says gpd motion assistant and click on portable version go ahead and download the file download anyway open the file double click on motion assistant click on more info and run anyway basically with this software you get a lot of different options that you normally wouldn't get with the stock software you can control so many different things you can control the tdps you can have auto limit tdp um so 
a lot of different options here you can also disable cpu through here and i would i would recommend you guys to get used to this software i know it's not very user friendly but once you get used to it it is quite easy to use so you can control gyro through here you can start the software with windows minimize minimize this tray which is what i usually do you can also have the fps overlay through this motion assistant software so this is a really great software that i highly recommend and also you can set up a hotkey for this so you can press two or three different buttons and this will open up so you don't always have to like open it manually for step number 15 open the stock software so in this case i have opened one x console and then if i go to settings i have an option to change the vram anyway from 1 gig to 24 gigs but 8 gigs is more than good enough so you can change this based on your preference or based on your requirements for step number 16 in the search bar type game mode yeah so click on where it says game mode settings and then just make sure that the button next to game mode is turned on because currently as you can see it's turned off this can improve performance by turning things off in the background for step number 17 in the search bar type lid l i d and then click on change what closing the lid does and in here make sure it says when i press the power button that you choose the hibernate option because hibernate is much better than sleep as it will not drain your battery life when you turn it when you put it in hibernate mode for step number 18 click on the battery on the bottom right then click on the battery percentage and where it says power mode plugged in and on battery you want to make sure you have the best performance selected you can play around with the best power efficiency and balanced mode however for best performance choose best performance last but not least is changing tdp this is basically you know making sure you have the correct tdp for the game that you are playing so in this one i can turn it all the way from 4 watts to 30 watts however for most games i like to keep it between 15 to 19 as this is more than good enough for most titles but obviously you can play around with this and choose the best tdp for your game so just make sure you've got the correct tdp for the game that you are playing for AAA games more than 19 for not very hard to run games probably under 15 watts is more than good enough i like to keep it at around 15 most of the time if you have any questions with regards to the tips that i have mentioned comment down below let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching